Hello and welcome to another episode of Adflow. I haven't released a video for like a couple of months and I have a lot of things that I would love to talk about. But I decided that for this first video, I'm gonna talk about something that is a lot more important. One of the most important things that we could ever talk about as artists and that is how to get better at art. But before I get into that, 24 years, I made it. I am 24 years old and whew, this, this is not what I was expecting for myself, but I actually feel great. I feel like I have a lot of, I, 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 I don't know, this, usually when I, during my birthdays, I tend to get very depressed and, oh, I haven't accomplished much or I haven't been where I want to be. Uh, but, but, but for some reason this year, it's actually the opposite. I actually feel uh, hopeful. I, I feel invigorated. A lot of things that I want to get done. I have a lot of plans for things to do by the end of the year and I'm gonna do them. So look forward to frequent updates on the YouTube channel. So there are two steps to take to becoming a great artist. Just two. As artists, we always try to complicate matters and make everything more difficult than it should be. And one of those things is how to get better at art. Most of us are like, oh, do I need to buy this equipment? Or do I need to be doing a certain amount of studies per day? And the truth is, every single thing can be boiled down to these two rules that I'm gonna give you guys right now. One, draw a lot. And two, be critical of your work. Now this might sound very vague, but I'm gonna go into each one of them and show you how these can be very, very helpful. So if you're ever stuck in a rut, then you can just look back to this video and just remember that there are just two things you need to do to begin to become a better artist. Now, if you notice, I am saying draw a lot, not paint a lot. The most important thing you need to do as an artist is draw a lot. It's so important. If you can draw, you can take that skill to do anything. You could work in illustration, you can do concept art, you can do like some children's book stuff, you can do animation if you want to. Just having that base skill of being able to draw is the most important thing. One of the best things about drawing a lot is that the more you draw, the better you get. Your first drawing of a dragon is going to be a lot worse than your hundredth drawing of a dragon. You know, if you've drawn dragons a thousand times, guess what? You're gonna get good. And it doesn't even have to be that much. It doesn't have to be such a crazy number. If you the if you drew like faces all day, every day for 30 days, just one month, by the end of it, you would see tremendous results. So also remember to draw what you enjoy or else you will never make a habit out of it. The thing that turns people off from drawing a lot is because they feel like, oh, I have to draw Bridgman, I have to draw Loomis, I have to take one of these boring um, books on, on uh, anatomy and just copy it over and over again. That doesn't sound interesting, it doesn't sound fun. So yeah, draw what you enjoy or you will never make a habit out of it. If you draw something that you're not really into, you're gonna quit. It's gonna take, you're gonna do it for maybe a couple of days, a week at the most, and then you're gonna stop drawing. But if you keep on drawing something that you enjoy, that's something you find interesting, you're gonna keep on doing it just because it's fun. Drawing should be fun. If you're not having fun drawing, put down the pencil, put down the ink or pen or whatever, and go figure out why you started drawing in the first place. Because if you don't have fun, how do you expect anyone else to enjoy what you do? It's very simple, draw what you enjoy. And also, remember to take your time when drawing. Uh, a mistake I made while starting out was, um, I decided I was gonna draw like, I don't know, something crazy, like a hundred hands every single day for like a month or something. Because there was this artist that I admire, Alex Negrea, who was doing just that, right? And I decided I was gonna do, I was gonna draw a bunch of hands every single day. So I will just fly through um, drawing hands over and over and over and over again and I just got burnt out and towards the end I learned almost nothing you know it might have helped a little bit but I really wish I had spent my time working on each you know hand if I had drawn just two hands well you know with intent in every stroke that I made I would have learned a lot more than having drawn a hundred hand but poorly 
uh, without any thought to them. And now for rule two, be critical of your work. Now this one might sound a bit odd because most artists are already very critical of their work. You know, we are our own worst critic. But what I mean by be critical of your work is to never settle. Every single time you finish a drawing, look at it and go, what could I have done better? Just keep that in mind as you go forward. That way you're always working your weakness. You're always trying to, to fix things that you currently struggle with. And this also means that you should challenge yourself. For example, recently I started doing a lot of um, perspective drawings, a lot of drawings of cubes and, and, uh, and ellipses in perspective. I don't find it particularly exciting. I don't find it entertaining. Some people just love laying out perspective grids. I'm not one of those people. I really can't, I really can't get into it. But I knew that if I never worked on it, I would always have trouble when drawing things in perspective. So I'm always challenging myself to do something that I usually wouldn't do. Which brings me to another topic of leaving your comfort zone. As I said earlier, always draw things that you enjoy. But every once in a while, <laughs> try to draw things that you wouldn't enjoy. Don't make this the rule, but the exception, or else you would hate drawing, as I said earlier. But every once in a while, ask yourself, what do I hate doing and why do I hate it? And then do it anyway. Leaving your comfort zone always, always makes you a better artist. And finally, this point is one of the most important points that probably deserves its own video, but I'm gonna add it here for now, which is to be comfortable with failure. Failing is inevitable in life. And as artists, we are going to fail a lot. Artists fail more times than they succeed. You know, you're gonna create more dots than you are going to create masterpieces. Your artwork is gonna fail. <laughs> you're gonna fail a lot. So if you don't learn this, if you don't learn early on to be comfortable with failure, you're gonna have a really, really hard time in the future. So for example, I recently did a cityscape um, drawing. I knew that I love looking at beautiful drawings of cityscapes, but I knew that I also could never do it by myself or do it you know, on my own. But I tried to do it anyway and it turned out horrible, like probably one of the worst things that I have ever done in recent memory. It was, it was so bad. And here's the thing, it's fine, it really is. Because failure is inevitable, you really should always be okay with showing other people your failed work. You shouldn't uh, delete them from, the, from, from existence. You shouldn't feel ashamed of them. I feel like if more artists were courageous enough to actually share works that they think that they failed on, the industry will actually get better. The thing is, every, other, every artist that you see online or somewhere, they have a lot of failed work, but most of them don't show you the failed work. You only see the good stuff. So you tend to think, well, this artist does everything so well. Why is it I can't do anything well? Why is it that 80% of what I do sucks? Well, it turns out that those guys <laughs> don't show you the things that they, that they fail at. For example, with the cityscape um, drawing I did, I could just delete it from, the, from existence, or I could look at it and go, this was terrible, and maybe in a few months from now, I might want to try it again. Guess what? I can compare my previous um, landscape failure with the new one, and everyone could see the previous one with the new one and they can see that you made progress. So anytime you're stuck on um, improvement or you don't know what to do or you're not exactly sure um, whether you are currently getting better or if you're doing things right, just remember that there are only two rules and they are fairly easy to do. So always draw a lot and always be critical of your drawing. I'm Stato Sunday, this has been Art Flow, and remember, eat, sleep, art. Bye.